Welcome to this video where we'll discuss how you can manage your teams within a fleet. We'll look at a team management feature called Scopes and explain how you can use Scopes so that your teams can access the clusters they need to run their workloads. Before we continue, you'll need to be familiar with the concepts of fleets and namespaces. Just to recap, fleets are a way to logically group Kubernetes clusters for easier management. Whether those clusters are on Google Cloud, on-premises, or other public cloud environments. Fleets help you manage your multi-cluster deployments. But what if you have several teams that need to access different clusters on your fleet? How do you organize your teams and clusters so that they don't interfere with each other's workloads? For example, maybe the web server team only needs access to clusters A and B, while the database management team needs to run workloads on all clusters within your fleet. You need a way to provision and manage access to these clusters depending on your team's requirements. That's where team management comes in. Team management features give you an additional level of organization within your fleet, so you can define which clusters are accessible to a team. These definitions are called scopes. A scope is just a grouping of fleet clusters that you can use for different purposes. You can include just one cluster in a scope, or you could have several. You just need to ensure that all clusters within a scope belong to the same fleet. So the first step is to create a scope where you'll identify which clusters you want in that scope. Then for team management purposes, within each scope, you'll create one or more fleet namespaces. This is just like a Kubernetes namespace, except that it's created inside a scope. Team members will then be given access to the scope so that they can run their workloads on those clusters within that scope. Going back to our earlier example, since the web server team needs to run workloads on clusters A and B, you would create a team scope that includes these two clusters only. Since the database management team needs access to all the clusters in this fleet, you would create a second scope that includes all the fleet clusters. As you can see here, the same cluster can belong to more than one scope, so different teams can run workloads on the same cluster. The next step in this process is to create fleet namespaces in the scope. Just like other Kubernetes namespaces, a fleet namespace provides isolation of resources between teams. Teams can use this namespace just like any other Kubernetes namespace. The final step is to give teams access to the clusters in their scope. Once teams have access, they can then use their namespace to run workloads in their clusters. In this video, we've seen how you can group your fleet clusters into scopes. You can use scopes for several purposes, but here we looked specifically at how scopes can help you manage and organize your infrastructure resources for teams. To learn more about fleet team management, check out our documentation. Thanks for watching.